Um, I'll move on quickly. Um, just, I showed this chart yesterday, um, and this is basically just reinforces the point that um, Australia, the United Kingdom, and New Zealand have tend to have relatively high overall employment rates. Um, uh, New Zealand and Australia are in the top five em overall employment rates in the OECD, um, and um, at least one of those countries that was, was higher than Australia and New Zealand has undoubtedly left that group, so we're probably in the top four. Um, but it's highly concentrated um, amongst households where nobody is in paid work, uh, and that's the thing. So it's a sort of so. In aggregate, we're doing quite well, very well on the employment performance, but it's highly concentrated, and that seems to be the issue about whether it's related to um, uh, the benefit system. Uh, since I have two minutes left, I'll try and get to the conclusions. Um, the uh, excuse me while I switch through the um, now basically, I would argue, and I'll finish with one chart. Um, that, well, just with, um, so we have low overall joblessness but high concentration of joblessness. As I pointed out yesterday, Australia has the most targeted income support system in the OECD, but we actually have the, one of the lowest average effective tax rates if you move into part-time work. Um, we have a lot of part-time work, but virtually all of the difference between the employment rates of lone mothers and partner mothers is lower levels of part-time work. So. Yeah, sort of we have a system that seems to be good for encouraging work, but uh, it's not the average effective tax rates don't lead to the low average effective tax rates don't apparently lead to uh, good outcomes for lone parents. So basically my argument is that it's related, as Willem pointed out, to the conditions of benefits. Now this is slightly I don't know if you can read this, but I'll finish with this chart. These are these are just simple correlations. Um, and um, they look at the factors associated with family joblessness. Uh, so this is a correlation coefficient. And, basic, and, and it's, across around, it's across OECD countries at a point in time. So it's, we're talking only about 25 countries. So you know, it's, it's, a, it, it's a, um, a relatively small group of places we're talking about. Um, the, um, the first correlation coefficient is between overall joblessness and household joblessness. Uh, and that's only about 0.2. So basically what it says is that this the, the, is that um, overall joblessness is not apparently strongly correlated with, um, with household joblessness. The lower thing is um, the correlation between overall joblessness and um, joblessness amongst households with children, which is even lower. It's about 0 0.6, 0.06. Um, but then if you look at the, um, the level of benefits for lone parents, including um, including housing benefits. There's, there's a bigger correlation, but it's still only about, uh, it's still less than 0.4. Uh, and then this looks at the correlation, the next bar as you move along from uh, left to right, is the correlation between um, household joblessness and um, average effective tax rates. Um, but basically, the strongest correlation is between the level of benefits when you adjust for duration of benefits. Because as Willem pointed out, in, in Nordic countries, basically you're required to actively look for work when your children are very young age. Uh, and that seems to me to have the strongest explanatory power, but I'll stop there and leave it at that.